Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. That's what we do. Okay. All right. Kind of like a guerrilla warfare kind of thing, I'm guessing. Yeah. In terms of going Kind in. of like the special forces. You know, yeah. they send in a 12-man A-team, but then gather up the villagers to fight the enemy. Mm -hmm. Well, same thing with ATF. We come in. Um, I will say if there is a federal agency that mirrors or mo is most comparable to street police work, it would be ATF. Hmm. And everybody will tell you that. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Obviously, the FBI has a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. They don't share information or they take your information and they're not they don't play well with others. I, I'm, I'm not. That's not my opinion. That's been widely publicized. Is there? Um, um, do you feel like there is some sort of uh, feud amongst the the alphabet absolutely. agencies? Absolutely, has been, is there? always will be. Hmm. But that feud is. Those feuds are very isolated. Clearly, the FBI and ATF from July of 1972. Boom. Why? Because all the bombings, all the arsons, all the cool stuff, the violent crime, the ga the drive-bys, the gangsters and everything came to us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they didn't like that. Okay. You know, they think they should be the end all to end all for everything. And they do a lot of it really good, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it was not, there's not a lot of FBI agents who can travel in our world, mm -hmm. our being ATF. Mm -hmm. They're the suit and tie guys you were talking about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the interesting thing about that, and people can correct me if I'm wrong here, it seems like the movies uh, reflect mo a lot of that stuff uh, as the a as the FBI going after it. Like, I don't seem to remember a lot of movies out there where the, the agent fighting this stuff was an ATF agent. Is that is that well, wrong? or? No, no. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the one with Denzel Washington, that was a great... ATF movie. Um, uh, which one was Denzel an ATF agent? Oh, Google it up, man. I'm, okay, yeah, I'm, let me pull. It. I'll pull up his. I'll pull up his stuff. Uh, no, 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 give me a second. Yeah, it's a one word title. Hmm. One word title. Let's see, Denzel. Okay, and then while we're while we're trying to figure that out, down the barrel. Speaking of Denzel, he says, "What's was the it de deja vu?" No, that's deja vu. Okay, he okay. was an ATF agent. Oh. He was in that. Okay. And, um, Jackie Brown, come on, brother. Oh, come okay. on. See, I gotta go back. I got see because it wasn't registering in my brain. Like in the movies, it's all the glory always goes to the FBI. Okay, so so who? What that. was Keanu Reeves in? Uh, what was that movie that Keanu Reeves was in? Where he's shooting? They have, with his, they have ten thousand agents. Mm -hmm. We have twenty five hundred agents. Mm -hmm. Our budget is a billion nine or something. Their budget is twenty billion. Okay. So I think their media presence is is a little better than ours. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Plus, plus, remember, for the first twenty years of my career, we were under U.S. Treasury Department. Okay. FBI was justice. We were treasury. Okay. So every time these fights happened, the Department of Justice had to fight treasury, and they were doing their political thing up there, and we just did what we wanted to do because we weren't, we didn't care about the FBI or anybody. But when we were placed under justice after 9-11, now we all had to be in little lockstep with FBI and DOJ, and mm -hmm. we were a lot leaner and meaner under Treasury. Okay. Well, I was wondering if you had more money under the Treasury, right? Because Treasury would probably no, no, no. Okay. We were we were horribly underfunded and mm -hmm. underrepresented in Treasury. Under Treasury, when I came on, was the Customs, the IRS, the Secret Service, and ATF. Okay. Hmm. That was us. But because think about it. Secret Service, they're not going to tell you. Mm -hmm. You're never going to hear a press release or whatever, mm -hmm. unless there's an assassination attempt or mm -hmm. something. But they still limit what they say. They don't really put a yeah, lot of info out. Biden under the radar. Mm -hmm. The only one that really ever gave us grief was the NRA. 
Um, Costumes was kicking ass in South Florida, Mm -hmm. seizing tons of drugs, and the IRS, everybody hated already. Mm -hmm. So we were cool (laughs) over there, and we were under the radar. Dude, I did so much shit. I kicked so many doors under Treasury that once we came to justice, took me about three or four more steps to get the authority and the authorization to go kick the same doors. Okay, yeah. Um, That's funny. That just reminds me of, uh, in the book, you say the first, can you tell the story of the first time you kicked in a door? How'd that go? That was, do you remember that from the book? You should. Was that the one I, the one where I put my foot through the door? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell that story. Um. <laughs> yeah, I put my foot through the door, literally. Right. They, they, I finally earned the respect and the whatever of my fellow agents and the eye, right, you're breaching this door. Mm-hmm. But nobody ever told me how or right. when or why. I, they just had breached this door, and I kicked a hollow door right through the middle and had my <laughs> legs stuck in there, and the bad guys run down the hall, and I'm sticking my gun through the hole in my leg. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was bad on every level. Yeah, so there wasn't a class on how to properly kick in a door. No, now there is. Oh, but there wasn't back then. Yeah. I bet. Back what is the proper what is the proper method of kicking in a door? Foot, foot on the foot right next to the deadbolt, right? Exactly at the lock. Any lock. force, be it a ram or be it a foot, and we used to literally kick doors because we didn't have rams. Mm-hmm. Nobody had invented rams yet. Right, right. So right. you kick the door. Right. You kick it two or three or four times, whatever. But you kick it in the lock. You know, pry it away from the door jam. Mm-hmm. But nobody told me that, so I kicked it right in the middle. My foot went right through, and I <laughs> caught four doors sh- just boop. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. If that was in today's times, one of those dudes would have that on a GoPro. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. guarantee you. Oh, yeah. You'd be on YouTube forever. <laughs> yes. There's, uh, yeah. So instead, I just wrote a book and embarrassed myself yeah. rather than you. No, that was, I laughed out loud when I was, when I was uh, listening to that part. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.